<laughs> but uh, uh, is there anybody here who's here for the very first time with us on a Sunday morning? If this is your first time with us, if you'd raise your hand, we've got a couple right there. The ushers just gave you some information about our church. And that's all that for you to take with you when you go. And in there is just a little card that we would just ask some information from you. You could take some time during the service and fill that out and you give that to me when you leave. But this is just so that we we would be able to thank you for, for coming today. But we're very glad that you're here. Let's just welcome them this morning. I'm glad you're here. Amen. Well, Amen. we're going to take an offering for the church as well. And if you would like an envelope for your giving, if you're giving cash this morning, if you raise your hand, the ushers will get that to you. But I want to read to you out of 2 Corinthians chapter 8. And I'm going to read verse 9. And Paul here, he's talking about giving. And he says, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ja siin ta ütleb siis 9. salm, et te ju teate me issanda Jeesuse Kristuse armu. How many you know the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ? Kui väl teiste teavad tunnevad Jeesuse Kristuse armu? Amen. So he says you know about that. Nii et ta ütleb, et te teate, te tunnete seda. That though he was rich, yet for our sake became poor, so that through his poverty we might become rich. Et tema, kuigi ta oli rikas, sai teie pärast vaeseks, et tee saaksite rikkaks tema vaesusest. And some people say that this is a verse that proves that Jesus was poor and had nothing in life. Ja siis mõned ihmised ütlevad, et see on salm kirjakoh, but this is not saying that at all. This is talking about Jesus being in glory. Giving all that up to come to earth to be a man. So that we would be able to have all that's available through Jesus Christ from glory. Läbi armu. And so Paul here, he's speaking about giving. And he, where he's talking about when we give. Et ta ütleb seda, kui me anname, that through the power of Jesus Christ. Et läbi päe, and through his supply in your life. Ja läbi tema varustuse sinu eluse, you can become rich having all your needs supplied. And his sacrifice is more than enough for you. Ja, tema offer on rohkem kui küllaldane sinu jaoks. The sacrifice of Jesus is more than enough for your family. Jeesuse Kristus offer on rohkem kui küllaldane sinu pere jaoks. So as we give to the kingdom of God nii, just like he asked us to do. Nii et kui me ei anname Jumala kuningriiki täpselt nii nagu ta on meil palunud seda teha. We can trust him that he is going to provide. Me saame usaldada teda, et tema varustab. And that we will be abundantly supplied for. Ja et me saame olema küllluslikult varustatud. We will become rich in this world. Ja me saame rikkaks siin maailmas. And this is God's plan for us. Like I've said before, you don't need to be rich to come to this church. But we believe this is a rich church. And as you hang around here and hang around the, the, the presence of God, I believe we can all become abundantly supplied for. Because our God takes abundant care of us. Kuna meie Jumale kannab küllusliku hoolt meie eest. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm going to ask you to stand one more time. We're going to sing one more song together before we get into the word. Ja ma palan tose veel korra. Ja siis me laulan veel ühe laulu enne kui me läheme Jumala sõnasse. God bless you as you give. Ja Jumal õnista kui sind kui sina annad. Oh, 
would, turn in your Bibles to 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And today is the fifth part on our series that I've entitled Run Christian Run. And uh, we took a week off for Easter. And it was still uh, very fitting in the teaching that we've been doing along this series. Ja see ikka väga sobis selle seere juurde, mida me oleme õpetanud. That we have overcome because Jesus laid down his life for us. Me oleme võitnud, kuna Jeesus pani maha enda elu meie pärast. And it was for us and all that he did. Ja kõike, mida ta tegi, ta tegi seda meie jaoks. And his death and his resurrection. Tema surma ja üles tõusmine. Means that we have victory in life. How many are thankful for that? Amen. Amen. I am so thankful. But uh, as we continue on what we've been talking about for the last month, in this series we're kind of focusing upon two main points. Point number one is that you are righteous. I want you to know you're righteous. That you have been made righteous through Jesus Christ. But I also want you to know that because you are righteous, that you have authority in this life. And so what I'm, what I'm wanting you to know is that you are righteous and that you have authority. And I believe that, that most Christians don't really know what they are able to do in life. But we are equipped with more than enough to be able to run in life and win. And I believe as we learn more and more about who we are in Christ Jesus, that as righteous people on this, this earth that we could use our authority to do God's will. And I believe as we follow God's plan for our lives, that all of us will be able to begin to break free from the things that try to hold us back and try to stop us. And, and that we're going to be able to do so much more in life. I encourage you to go and do things that, that maybe you didn't think you could do. Go and do things that maybe somebody else told you you could not do. But if you can, can, can trust God as you do it, I believe you can go out and you can do some amazing things in your life. And so this is why I'm calling this series Run Christian Right. Because even though you might not know you have the ability, it is in you if you will just do it. And so I pray that this series is going to help you realize more of your potential. I pray that this is going to challenge kind of the culture of our church. And I believe by gaining knowledge of the kingdom of God. Learning what Jesus Christ has given to you. That it will help us to live knowing that I am righteous. And I believe that is the only way way for us to successfully run in life. And so like we have already seen in this series, our righteousness is very powerful. Say it's powerful. Amen. Your righteousness is powerful. Your righteousness is going to change what the way the way that you see the world around you your righteousness is going to change the way that you live and as we begin to see more and more what Jesus has has done for us we'll begin to walk in the authority that he said that we could we could walk in and we have seen that Jesus said we have 
have authority to do some things here on this earth. Ja me nägime seda, et Jeesus ütles, et meil on olemas meelevalt teha siin maa peal teatud asju. We have authority to stop some things. Meil on meelevalt peatada mõndasid asju. Jesus said we have authority to allow some things. Ja Jeesus ütles, et meil on meelevalt siis lasta lahti mõndasid asju. We have authority to heal. Lubada mõndasid asju. Meil on meelevalt teha terveks. We have authority to prosper. Meil on meelevalt olla edukas. We have authority to set free. Meil on meelevalt lasta vabaks. We have authority to pray. Meil on meelevalt palvetada. Pray the plan and the will of God. Et paluda Jumala tahet ja plaani. And you know, I think praying God's will is a powerful way for us to use our authority. Ma usun seda, et Jumala tahte palumine on väga selline võimas viis, kuidas kasutada meie meelevalda. And so we know this. Me teame seda. We know that God's word is his will. Me teame seda, et Jumala sõna on tema tahe. And so when you pray the word of God, you're praying the will of God in your life. Kui sina palud Jumala tahet, kui sa palud Jumala sõna, siis sa palud Jumala tahet enda elu jaoks. And so uh, we... We, we, when we pray make sure you have some scripture you have a promise that you stand on ja kui sa palvetad siis tee kindlaks et sul on olemas kirja kohta biiblist mille peal sina seisada and then we use the name of jesus to seal that promise ja siis me kasutame jeesuse nime et siis kinnitada pitseerida seda palvete make sure that, that we are walking in what he has provided for us ja et teha kindlaks et me käime selles millega tema meid on varustanud but we are righteous aga me ei oleme õigede and standing on his promise ja seistes tema tõotusel gives the right authority and life. Annab meile selle õige meelevala siin eluse. And we become righteous because of Jesus. Ja me ei saame õigeks tänu Jeesusele. And we have seen this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21. Ja me oleme näinud seda teine kiri Korintlastel 5 pealt 1 salmi 21. Says in God made him who had no sin to be sin for us. Ta on teinud patuks meie asemel selle, kes patus midagi ei teadnud. That in him we might become the righteous et me ei saaksime Jumala õiguseks tema sees. And so we, we because of Christ. Ja Kristuse tõttu. We become righteous in this life. Me ei saame õigeks siin elus. Jesus has made us righteous. Ja Jeesus ta on teinud meid õigeks. He took our place. Tema võttis meie koha. And then he gave us his place. Ja siis tema andis meile enda koha. Because because of 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 the the position we now have in him ja selle positsiooni tõttu mis meil nüüd on temas we can have the authority that he had in life siis meil saab olla see meelevald mis temal oli eluse you know the bible tells us in romans chapter 3 ja piibel ütleb meile kiri roomlastel ja viies pea tükke uh, third kolmas pea tükke and verse 22 ja salm 22 it says and this righteousness is given through faith in jesus christ to all who believe. See Jumala õigus, mis tuleb Jeesusesse Kristuses uskumise kaudu kõigile, kes usuvad. There is no difference between the Jew or the Gentile. Et siin ei ole erinevust juudi ja kreeklase vahele. And so the righteousness is given to all through faith in Jesus. Ja see õigsus antaks igal ühele läbi usu Jeesusesse Kristusesse. And so he paid the price for us. Nii et tema maksis selle hinna meie jaoks. And he said you can have my position if you would just believe. Ja ta ütles, et teil saab olla minu positsioon, kui te vaid usute. So faith in Jesus means you receive his righteousness. Nii et usk Jeesuses tähendab seda, et selle läbi sina võtad vastu tema õigsuse. Faith in Jesus means you receive what he has done for you. Usk Jeesuses tähendab seda, et sa võtad vastu selle, mis ta on teinud sinu jaoks. And then you're able to stand before God as somebody who is righteous. Ja siis sina oled võimel seisma Jumala ees kellegina, kes on õige. That you don't have to be ashamed or, or be embarrassed to be in the presence of Et God. Et sina ei pea häbenema, sa ei pea tundma piinlikust olla Jumala liigioluse. You stand before God. Sina seisad Jumala ees as righteous men and women. Kui õige mees, naine. Because of what Jesus Christ has done for you on the cross and in his resurrection. Selle tõttu, mida Jeesus Kristus on teinud sinu, sinu jaoks ristil ja üles tõusmisel. And when we stand on the promise of what he has done for us. Ja kui me seisame sellel tõotusel, mis ta, ta on teinud meie jaoks. This is what gives us authority in life. Siis see on see, mis annab meile meelevala siin eluse. And you need to know that Satan does not have the power to stop you. Ja sa pead teama seda, et saatanal tal ei ole väge sind peatada. So that's why we can run in life. Ja selle pärast me saame joosta siin elus. We need to be made righteous. Ja me peame saama tehtud õigeks. And the reason we need to be made righteous is because of sin. Ja põhjus mille pärast me peame saama tehtud õigeks on patu tõttu. And we couldn't win righteousness for ourselves. Ja me ei saanud seda saada seda õigsust kuidagi ise enda jaoks. You could never be good enough to stand before God. Oma tegudega sa mitte kunagi ei saaks olla piisavalt hea oma tegude tõttu, et seista õigena Jumala ees. Somebody had to take your place. Keegi pidi võtma sinu koha. And so God came up with a two man plan. Nii et Jumala, Jumal siis tuli siis välja kahe mehe plaaniga. God came up with this plan. Adam 
and Jesus. Ja Jumal oli siis selline plaan Aadam ja Jeesuse. And everybody on this planet is either related to Adam or, or related to Jesus. They're in Adam or they're in Jesus. Ja siin iga inimene, kes siin planeetil on, siis ta on kas Aadamas või ta on Jeesuses. And uh, all mankind ja kogu inimkonda hangs on the action of these two men. On siis mõjutatud sellest tegevusest nende kahe mehe tegevusest. And so Paul writing to the church in Romans chapter 5. Ja Paulus kui ta kirjutab kogudusele kirjas Roomastele viiendas peatükis. Romans chapter 5 and verse 17 I'm going to start reading. Roomastele psalmis 15 alustan lugemist. And and Paul is is giving us this plan that that God has inspired him to to write about by the Holy Spirit. Ja Paulus siis annab selle palve edasi mille mida siis püha vaimul inspireerunud teda kirjutama and he says here in verse 17 ja siin ta ütleb psalmis 17 says for the sin of one man adam caused death to rule over many ja ühe inimese üle astumise tõttu on suurem valitsenud kuningana selle ühe kaudu but even greater is god's wonderful grace and his gift of righteousness for all who receive it will triumph over sin and death through the one man Jesus Christ. Aga seda kindlamini need, kes saavad armu üli rohkesti nüüd õigus anni, hakkavad valitsema kuningana elus selle ühe Jeesuse Kristuse kaudu. So through one man, it says that, that, that death ruled. Ja siin ütleb seda, et ühe inimese läbi valitses surma. But through Jesus, aga läbi Jeesuse, sin no longer rules. Et pat enam ei valitse. Death no longer rules. Surm enam ei valitse. And so we, there, there's, there's the difference between life and death. on olemas vahe elu ja surma vahel. And verse 18 says this. Ja psalm 18 ütleb nii. Yes, Adam's one sin brings condemnation for everyone, but Christ's one act of righteousness brings a right relationship with God and new life for everyone. Nõnda siis nagu ühe üle astumise läbi tuli kõigile inimestele surma mõistmine, nii on ka selle ühe õigus teo läbi kõigile inimestele saanud õigeks saamine elukse. So through Adam all are sinners. Need läbi Aadama kõik inimesed on patused. Through Adam all are dead. Läbi Aadama kõik inimesed on surnud. Through Jesus all can be made righteous. Läbi Jeesuse kõik võivad saada tehtud õigeks. Through Jesus all can be made alive. Läbi Jeesuse kõik võivad saada tehtud elavaks. And so this is God's two man plan. Need see on Jumala see kahe mehe plaan. Now I used to think well it's not fair. Ja ma varem mõtsin et see ei ole õigane. That one man's sin makes me have sin in my life. Üks inimene tegi patu ja nüüd selle pärast minu elus on patt. But now that I see God's plan. Aga nüüd kui ma näen Jumala plaani, I'm thankful. Ma olen tänulik. Because he said okay, everyone since since Adam was was the the first, everyone after Adam is in that same situation. Nii et ta ütleb, et Aadam tema oli esimene ja kõik, kes peal Aadamat on, on temaga samas olukorras. But then Jesus is the new Adam. Aga Jeesus on nüüd uus Aadam. He's the new man. Tema on uus inimene. That we all can come under. Et kelle alla me kõik saame tulla. And through that one man we could all be righteous. Ja läbi selle ühe, ühe mehe me kõik saame õigeks. And so your action didn't put you in, in, in Adam or in, in Jesus. Need sinu teod ei pannud sind Aadamasse ega ka Jeesusesse. You were in Adam. Sa olid Aadamas. And everything that he did was on you. Ja kõik, mida ta tegis, oli sinu peal. You had a sin nature. Sul oli patu loomus. How many have had to deal with your sin nature? Kui vaad, teist on pidanud tegelema oma patu loomus. Right, we have a sin nature. Et meil on patu loomus. And we've got to deal with that even as Christians. Ja meie ka kristlastena peame sellega tegelema. But when we receive Christ Jesus, aga kui meie võtame vastu Kristuse Jeesuse, we are no longer dead, but we become alive inside. Siis me enam ei ole surnud, vaid me saame elavaks eespidiselt. And this is what the world is missing. Ja see on see, mis on puud and in verse 19 it says and because one person disobeyed uh, disobeyed God many became sinners ja salm 19 ütleb sest otse kui tolle ühe inimese sõna kuulmutuse tõttu on paljud saanud patuseks but because of the other person he obeyed God many will be made righteous nõnda saavad ka selle ühe inimese kuulekuse läbi paljud õigeks so this is the amazing plan need see on see imeline plaan and it makes it easy ja see teeb lihtsaks i get my righteousness from jesus et mina saan oma õigsuse jeesuse käest it's not from me it's not from me. Et see ei ole My righteousness is not from me. 
My righteousness is not from me. Minu õigsus ei ole minust endast. My righteousness is not from you. Minu õigsus ei ole sinust. My righteousness is not from my grandma who's with Jesus. Minu õigsus ei tule minu vanaemast, kes on Jeesuses. I don't get righteousness from any other person. Et mina ei saa oma õigsust mitte kui kellegi teise isiku käest. Only Jesus. Ainult Jeesuse käest. It's by receiving what he did for us. Läbi selle, et ma võtan vastu selle, mis ta tegi meie jaoks. That now I am the way that God wanted me to be. Siis ja nüüd ma olen nii nagu Jumal tahab, et ma oleks. I am no longer dead, but I become alive. Ma enam ei ole surnud, vaid ma nüüd saan elavaks. And so this is this was God's amazing plan. Ja see oli Jumala imeline plaan. And so when you back up to the very beginning and when you read the book of Genesis. Nii et kui sa lähed siis ja Biibli algusesse ja sa loet seal esimesest Mooseses raamatut. You see that God created paradise. Ja sa näed seda, et Jumal ta lõi paradiisi. And he put Adam right in the middle of paradise. Ja ta pani Aadama siin and God had one tree there that he said Adam don't eat from that tree. Ja Jumalal oli seal üks puu, mille kohta ta ütles et Aadam sina ära sellest puus söö. He said if you eat from that tree you're going to die. Ja tõtse kui sina sööd sellest puus siis sa sureda. Well Adam ate from that tree. Aadam sõi sellest puust. And we know that this death then was not talking about a physical death. Ja me teame seda et see surm see ei rääkinud füüsilisest surmast. Because when Adam ate from that that tree he was still living. Sebas kui Aadam ta sõi sellest puust, seda vilja, siis ta ikka veel jäi elama. Ta ikka veel elas. The Bible says he lived like 900 years I think it said. Et Biibel räägib et elas umbes 900 aastat või nii. So he lived a good long life. Nii et ta elas hea pikka elu. But but uh, it, it's not talking about a natural death, it was talking about a spiritual death. Siin ei räägi loomulikus surmast, vaid siin räägi vaimses surmast. Because when Adam and Eve ate from from that that tree. Sest kui Aadam ja Eeva nad sõid sellest puust, they died spiritually the life of god was no longer in them jumala elu enam ei olnud neis and this was huge ja this was a big thing ja see oli suur asi this was something that they realized right away ja see miski mida nad mõisid koheselt and and this that's that's the death that is talking about in romans chapter 5 ja see on see suur millest räägib kirjas roomastel viies peadük when it says through adam we die. Kui ütleb seda, et Aadama läbi meie surime. But through Christ we are alive. Aga läbi Kristuse me oleme elavad. Through Adam we are unrighteous, but through Christ we are righteous. Läbi Aadama me oleme evaõiged, aga läbi Kristuse me oleme õiged. And so this death that it's talking about. Ja see surm, millest räägib, is not a not a physical death. See ei ole füüsiline surm. It is a spiritual death. Vaid see on vaimne surm. And so they were just different than they were before. Nad olid siis teistmoodi kui nad now they were separated from the life of God. Nüüd nad olid eraldatud Jumala elust. Now they no longer had that that the spirit of God working with them. Enam neil ei olnud Jumala vaimu tegemas koos tööd nendega. And so sin reigned over mankind. Ja pat valitses inimkonna üle. Until Jesus came to set us free. Kuni Jeesus tuli siia selleks et teha meid vabaks. And everyone fell into this spiritual death. Ja kõik langesid sellesse vaimsesse surma. Everyone was separated from God. Iga üks sai eraldatud Jumalast. And when God created man. Ja kui Jumal lõi inimese. When you when you look at the story of creation. Kui sina vaatad seda loomislugu. You see that God created us to 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 resemble him in our looks. Siis sa näed seda et Jumal ta lõi meid we we kind of look like him at the end of but but uh, we we were you know when he created us in the beginning we were still dead et alguses kui ta meid lõi me olime ikka veel surnud and the bible says that god then breathed the breath of life into us ja bible siis ütleb seda et jumal ta hingas elu õhku meisse he breathed elu õhku meisse he breathed and gave us some of himself ja ta siis hingas puhkus meisse osa endast spirit also has the meaning of breath ja vaimu siis see tähendus mis siis on selles algses sõnas tähendab ka siis õhk nagu puhumist nagu hinge õhku and, and so this this is the breath of god the life of god the spirit of god that is in us as believers in christ see on jumala hinge õhk jumala vaime kes elab meis meie sees läbi Jeesuse Kristuse and so god put himself in us need jumal ta pani ennast meisse in the beginning in adam alguses aadamas adam lost that aadam kaotas selle but then through jesus christ aga siis läbi Jeesuse Kristuse we can have that life come back into us see elu saab tulla tagasi meisse and where we were once dead inside we could become 
alive. Ja meie, kes me enne me olime surnud vaimselt, võime saada vaimselt elavaks. And so the reason that God created man ja põhjus, mille pärast Jumal lõi inimese was so that we could have authority on earth. Oli siis see, et meil saaks olla meelevalt siin maa peal. God did not create us because he was lonely. Et Jumal ei loonud meid selleks, et ta oli üksildane. He's God. Et ta, ta on Jumala. He's not lonely. Et ta ei ole üksildane. He's got billions of angels that he has to deal with every day. He's not lonely. Ta on miljardid inglid, kellega ta on igapäevaselt tegele, ta, ta, ei, ta ei ole üksike. He, he lives in a, in a place that we get to go to someday that is just going to be amazing. Ta elab paigas, kuhu kohta me kunagi saame minna ja mis on imeline. And so the reason God created us ja põhjus, mille pärast Jumal lõi meid was that we would be able to take authority here on the earth. Oli see, et meie saaksume olla võimsed võtta meelevalda siin maa peal. He created us to rule and to watch over his creation. Ta lõi meid valitsema ja üle vaatama tema loodud. And so in Genesis chapter 1, ja siis esimene Mooses ja Raamat esimene peatükke. We see in verse 26. Me näeme salmis 26. It says in God said, let us make mankind in our image and in our likeness so that they may rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air of the sky and in the the over the livestock and all the wild animals and over all the creatures that move along the ground. Ja Jumal ütles tehke inimesed oma näo järgi meie sarnaseks, et nad valitseksid kalad üle meres, lindud üle taeval, loomad üle ja kogu maa üle ja kõigi roomaat üle, kes maa peal roomaad. And so we were created to look after and to rule over God's creation. Et meid siis tehti, et me vaataksime üle ja valitseme valitseksime Jumala lood üle. We were the only creation that God breathed his life into. Me oli ainus loodu, kelle see Jumal hingas oma elu. And God uh, uh, and because of the life of God in Adam. Ja Jumal tõt siis because of the life of God that was in Adam. Ja siis selle Jumal elu tõttu, mis oli Aadamas. It gave Adam authority to rule the earth. See andis Aadamale selle meelevalla valitseda maa peale. God brought the animals to Adam and he named them all. Ja Jumal ta tõi siis need lohmad kõik Aadama juurde ja Aadam pani neile nimed. He ruled over the garden. Et ta valitses kogu aia üle. He took care of, of what God had created. Ta kandis hoolt selle eest, mille, mida Jumal oli loonud. Because he had authority. Kuna tal oli meelevalda. But when Adam sinned, aga kui Aadam tegi patu, the Bible calls this uh, uh, he fell. See Bible nimetab seda, et ta, et ta langes. He fell from that life that God put in him. Et ta langes, ta kukkus välja sellest elust, millest see Jumal tema oli vannud. He lost that life and ta, he gave up his authority. Ta kaotas selle elu ja ta loobus oma meelevallast. Because he, was, ilma because he was deceived and he thought that he could you know, he could know more than God. Kuna ta sai petetuda, ta hakkas mõtlema seda, et tema, ta tahab teada rohkem kui Jumal, kui Jumal tahab, et ta teaks. And so Adam lost the authority to rule and to reign. Nii et siis Aadam kaotas selle meelevalla valitseda ja juhtida. And then everything on earth changed. Ja siis kõik, mis siin maa peal oli, see muutus. The Bible says there was a curse that came to the earth. Bible ütleb, et needus tuli maa peale. And Satan is now the God of this age. Ja Saatan nüüd on selle, selle, God of this time. selle aja kuningase. And, and, and so... Uh, how does Satan accomplish his 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 work today in the world? Ja, kuidas siis Satan teeb oma tööd täna päeval siin maailmas? The same way he's done from the very beginning. Ja, samamoodi nagu ta on teinud algusest alates. He deceives people. Et ta petab inimesi. He deceives people to make them think that his way is better. Et ta siis ajab inimesi petab siis räägib et tema viis on parem or that their way is better või ütleb seda et tead see mida sina mõtled oma peas sen opis parem and that we don't need god ja et meil ei ole vaja jumala and so he is trying to keep us separated from the life that is available to all of us through christ et jesus ta proovib hoida meid eemal jumala elust mis on saadal iga ühe meie jaoks läbi jeesuse kristuse but as we read through the bible we see over and over again aga kui me loeme piiblit me näeme uuesti ja uuesti that god is trying to tell israel et jumal proovib throughout the whole old testament läbi kogu vana testamendi i'm giving you a choice et ta manna teile valiku you choose et teie valige but i want you to choose life i want you to choose right aga ma tahan et te valiksite elu ma tahan et te valiksite õigest and so what this is telling us nii et mida see ütleb meile is even though that satan is the god of this time et kuigi saatan on selle aja kuningase that 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 we still have the right to choose. Et meil ikka on olemas see õigus valida. How many you know you choose your own decisions? Kui valates tead seda, et sina ise valida oma valikude. You know, nobody makes you do sina. whatever you do. Mitte keegi ei pane sind tegema seda, mida sina teed. You choose it. Et sina valid teha seda. And to say, well, I was deceived is not going to be an excuse ja before God. Ja öelda seda, et aga mind petetti. See ei ole mingi ette käene Jumala ees. You know, I was lied to. I didn't know. Mulle valetati, ma ei teadnud. Uh, because really 
we allow ourselves to be deceived. Sest, et tegelikult me ise laseme ennast petta. We choose to believe that, oh, maybe there is a better way. Me ei laseme endale siis hakata mõtlema, et aga võibolla tõesti on olemas parem viis. But God is saying, you, you have a choice. Aga Jumal ütleb, et sul on see valik. You can choose Satan's will for you. Sa saad valida, kas saatana tahte enda jaoks. Which is death. Mis on surme. Or you surme. can choose my will for you. Või sa saad valida minu tahte sinu jaoks. Which is life. Mis on elu. He said, it's your choice. Ta ütleb, see on sinu valik. But I want you to choose my will. Ma tahan, et sina valiksid minu tee, and minu so viisi. From the very beginning, this is God's heart for us. Ja päris algusest alates, see on Jumala südame soo meie jaoks. And then he sends Jesus to come and pay a price that we can become righteous. Ja siis ta saadab siia Jeesus, et ta maksaks hinna meie eest, et meie võiksime saada õigeks. He says, now all you have to do is believe in him. Ja mida ta ütleb, et nüüd kõike, mida sul on vaja teha, on uskuda temasse. And you can have life. Ja sul saab siis olla elu. And so, uh, Man lost his authority. Et inimene kaotas oma meelevalla. By losing the life of God that was in him. Läbi selle, et ta kaotas selle Jumala elu, mis oli tema see. But uh, that is the reason that Jesus came. Ja see on põhjus, mille pärast Jeesus tuli. Jesus came to give us back the life. Jeesus tuli siia selleks, et anda meile tagasi elu. Give us back that righteousness. Anda tagasi see õiguse, õiksus. So, so that we can once again have authority in this world. Et meil jälle saaks olla meelevalt siin selles maailmas. This is the plan of God. Ja see on Jumala plaan. And so we need we needed to become righteous again. Ja me peame saama jälle õigeks tehtuda. And we all know that none of us were worthy to be righteous. Ja me kõik teame seda, et me ise ei olnud kuidagi oma tegudega välja teenud seda, et saada õigeks. But if we could become righteous again, we would have authority again. Aga kui me saaksime jälle õigeks, siis meil oleks jälle meelevalda. And so Jesus had to come and pay the price. Nii et Jeesus ta pidi tulema, ta pidi maksma hinna. Because nobody else could do it. Kuna mitte kui keegi teine ei saanud teha seda. And for thousands of years, ja tuhandeid aastaid, God waited for the right time to send his son. Jumal ootas õiget aega, et saata oma poeks siia. And he came and he paid the price in full for all. Ja ta tuli siia ja ta maksis hinna täielikult iga ühe meie eest. And the reason that I believe the Bible tells us how God used his authority in Genesis chapter 1. Ja ma arvan, et põhjus, mille pärast Jumal ütles, kuidas ta siis kasutas oma meelevalda in Genesis chapter 1. Esimene Mooses ja Raamat esimeses peatükkise. Talks about how God created everything through his authority. Ja seal räägib seda, kuidas Jumal ta lõi kõik oma meelevallaga. And what was he doing? Ja mida ta tegi? He was speaking words et ta rääkis sõnu he was speaking words and then things became ta ütles sõnu ja asjad said he said let there be light and light exploded throughout ta the universe ta ütles et saagu valgus ja kogu universumis tuli valgus he said let let there be be uh, separation between the land and the sea and the earth was formed ja siis ta ütles seda et maa ja meri et saagu eraldatud ja siis tuli maa he created the plants and he created the animals. Ja seda lõi kõike igas taimed ja loomad ja. And he created everything and he said, that's good. Ta lõi kõik selle ja ta ütles, et see on hea. How many know his creation's pretty good? Kui vältes tead seda, et tema lood on päris hea. In fact, it's perfect. Ja tegelikult see on täiuslik. There's nothing wrong with it. Et selles ei ole mitte midagi vajaka. The only thing that, 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 that uh, is missing et ainus asi, mis on puudu, is somebody to rule over what he's created. On keegi, kes valitseks kõige selle üle, mida tema on loonud. And this is really your job. Ja tegelikult see on sinu töö. And you're not, you know, not going to start naming all the fishes whatever you want to name them and everybody just takes that name. Ja sa ei hakka panema kaladele kõiki need nimesid, mida sina tahad neile panna ja siis kõik need ütled, jah, võtta ongi. You are no longer a trout, we will call you Salah. Et ena, enam sina ei ole siis <laughs> hauga, vaid nüüd me nimetame siin kiluks. So, yeah, whatever. Või, või, või mida iganes. We can't just make up names now for things. Et me ei saa hakata ise välja mõtlema nimesi. That's not the authority we have. Et meil ei ole seda meelevalda. But we do have authority with our words. Aga meil on olemas meelevald meie sõnadega. To speak the plan and the will of God. Et rääkida Jumala plaani, Jumala tahete. And to have the will of God take place on the earth. Ja et siis Jumala tahe ja Jumala plaan teostub siin maal. And so we use our words. Need meie kasutame oma sõnu. To take authority in our world. Et võtta meelevalda siin meie maailmas. This is this is why God showed us how to use authority at the very first part of the Bible. Ja see on põhjus, mille pärast Jumal näitas meile, kuidas tema kasutas meelevalda esimeses peatükkis, esim, esimeses Biibli peatükkis. And so so we see here that Jesus he taught his disciples the same way. Ja me näeme seda, et Jeesus ta õpetas oma jüngreid samamoodi. When Jesus came, he taught his disciples to take authority with their words. Kui Jeesus oli siin, siis ta ütles oma jüngritele seda, ta õpetas neil ütsete peate võtma 
meelevalla kasutades oma sõnu. And we see this in Mark chapter 11 and verse 23. Ja me näeme seda Markus evangeeliumi 11:23. And it says truly I tell you if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart but believes that what he says it will happen it will be done for them. Tõesti ma ütlen teile kes iganes ütleb tollele mäele kerki ja kukuten merre ega kõhkla oma südames vaid usub et see mis ta räägib sünnib siis see saabki talle. And so Jesus is saying we rule and we reign by our words. Nii et Jeesus ütleb, et me juhime, me valitseme läbi oma sõnade. When you speak and believe that it is God's will. Kui sina räägid ja usud seda, et see on Jumala tahe. It will be done. Siis see saab toimuma. And so this is how faith works. Ja see on viis, kuidas toimib uska. This is how authority works. Niimoodi toimib meelevald. And this is how we are able to rule in our world. Ja nii oleme meie võimesed valitsema oma maailmas. And this takes us back to what we already read in Romans chapter 17. Ja see viib meid tagasi uuesti selle 5 verse 17. Selle juurde, millest me rääkisime kirjas Roomlaste 5. pead 1. salm 17. Romans 5:17, I'll read that second part again. Et kirja Roomlaste 5. pead 1. salm 17 ja teine osa. It says, but even greater is God's wonderful grace and his gift of righteousness for all who receive it will live in triumph over sin and death through one man Jesus Christ. Aga, aga seda kindlamini need, kes saavad armu üli rohkesti ning õigus anni, hakkad valitsema kuningana elus selle ühe Jeesuse Kristuse kaudu. And so we see the, that Paul writing about righteousness. Me näeme seda Paulus, kui ta kirjutab õiksusest. Says this now belongs to us through Christ. Ütleb, et see nüüd kuulub meile läbi Kristuse. And he, he, when Paul writes about righteousness in other places. Ja kui Paulus ta kirjutab õiksusest teistes paikades. He talks about us having a new beginning. Et ta räägib sellest, et meil saab olema uus alguse. That we become new on the inside. Et meie saame seesmiselt uuekse. We're a new creation me in Christ. uus loodu Kristuses Jeesuses. And, and so again this is all for the purpose of us ruling in life. Ja jällegi see kõik on eesmärgiga et valitseda siin elus et meie valitseks. And so this is God's plan. Nii et see on Jumala plaane. Jesus said you must be born again. Jeesus ütles seda et te peate sündima ülalt. You te must peate sündima uuesti. You must become a new creation. Te peate saama uueks looduks. And this is the righteousness that Jesus has provided. Ja see on see õiksus millega Jeesus on varustanud. That we become new again. Et meie saame jälle uueks. We receive the life of God in us. Meie saame võtame vastu Jumala elu endasse. And then everything changes. Ja siis kõik muutub. And one of the great things that changes is we now have power and authority with our word. Ja üks suur asi, mis nüüd muutub on see, et meil on meelevalde ja vägi, kui me kasutame oma suu sõnu. And so the difference between our authority and Adam's authority. Aadama ja meie meelevala vahel vahe the difference between Adam's righteousness and our righteousness. Aadama õiksuse ja meie õiksuse vahe Adam's righteousness was under his own control. On see, et Aadam õiksus oli tema enda kontrolli alla. Adam's righteousness and his authority Aadam õiksus ja tema meelevalde is he, he walked in it and, and, and uh, because his actions were right. Ta käis selles, kuna tema teod olid õigede. But when his actions were wrong, aga kui tema teod olid valed, he lost his authority and he lost his rights. Siis ta kaotas oma meelevalade, kaotas oma õiksuse. What's different about ours, et mis on erinevus meiega, is it's a better plan. On see, et nüüd on parem plaan. God said, okay, I've, I've got a better thing for you et now. Jumal ütles, et nüüd mul on parem asi teie jaoks. Your righteousness is not going to be based based on your actions. Et teie õiksus ei saa põhinema teie tegudele. Your righteousness is going to be based upon Jesus' actions. Teie õiksus saab põhinema Jeesuse tegudele. And so our righteousness was purchased by Jesus' blood. Nii et meie õiksus see oosteti läbi Jeesuse vere. And so it's no longer dependent upon our actions. Nii et see enam ei sõltu meie tegudest. Our righteousness is not in our control. Et meie õiksus ei ole meie kontrolli alla. And that should make you pretty happy. Ja see peaks tegema sind päris õnnelikuks. Because you would mess up your righteousness on a regular basis regulaarselt sa rikuksid ära oma õiksuse. And so we our righteousness is based upon what he has all ready done. Need me õiksus põhineb sellel mida tema juba on teinud. So Jesus doesn't need to go to the cross for you. He's already done it. Need Jeesus ta ei pea minema ristile uuesti sinu eest, on juba seda teinud. Your sin isn't causing pain for Jesus. It's already been done. Sinu patt ei tee haiget Jeesusele, ta on juba kannatanud sinu pärast. It's already been accomplished. Et, see, see on juba tehtuda. We just need to receive that and say thank you Jesus. Me peame selle vastu võtma ja ütlema aitäh Jeesuse. Thank you Lord that I'm righteous. Aitäh isnat sulle selle eest et mina olen õige. His righteousness was once 
for all. Ja tema õiksus sai tehtud ühe korra kõigi jaoks. And this, some people have a hard time with this. Ja mõndadel inimestel on raskusi sellega. Some Christians have a real struggle with this on the inside. Ja mõned kristlased väga seediselt maadlevad sellega. Thinking that they're righteous because of Jesus and not righteous because of themselves. Et mõtlevad seda, et nad on õiged Jeesuse pärast, mitte ise enda pärast. And they think that when, when they do good, then they're righteous. Ja mõtlevad seda, et kui nemad ise teevad head, siis nad on õigede. And then they could be bold before God. Sinad saad olla julged Jumala ees. But when they do bad, that they become unrighteous. Aga kui nad teevad halba, siis nad on ebaõigede. And then they don't have a right to go pray. Ja siis neil ei ole seda õigust, et minna ja palvetada. And they shouldn't read the Bible today because I'm screwing up. Ja nad ei peaks piibilt lugema, kuna panin, panin mööda täna. Uh, you know, I, I, I shouldn't go to church because... I'm not living like I should. Et ma ei peaks täna kogutse koosolekule minema, kuna ma olen elanud vahepeal nii nagu ei peaks. And they think that their righteousness or unrighteousness is based on their actions. Ja mõtlevad seda, et nende õiksus või nende ebaõiksus, et see põhineb nende tegudele. I want to break this mentality. Ja mina tahan siis murda selle mõtteviisi. I want this to be so clear to you. Ma tahan, et see oleks nii selge sinu jaoks. Your righteousness didn't come to you by your actions. Et sinu õiksus ei tulnud sulle läbi sinu tegude. And you are not going to lose your righteousness by your actions. Ja sa ei kaot oma õiksust läbi oma tegude. It is by what Jesus Christ has done for us once for all. See on selle põhjal, mida Jeesus Kristus on teinud meie jaoks ühe korra ja kõigi eest jaoks. So this is why it is so important for us to become a new creation ja in Christ. Ja selle pärast me iga ühe jaoks on nii oluline, et me mõistaksime meie õiksust Kristuses Jeesuses. That we would have that new life again inside of us. Et meil oleks jälle see uus elu meise. And the Bible said that it, 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 we, we have this so that we could rule in life like God originally intended. Ja Bibel ütleb, et, et meil oleks see selleks, et me saaksime jälle valitseda siin elus nii nagu Jumal on plaaninud. God wants you to rule your life and not be ruled over. Et Jumal tahab, et sina valitseksid enda elus ja mitte sina ei oleks elu, elu poolt valitsetud. James tells us, kind of gives us a, a, a glimpse of how we rule in life. Ja Jakobus alab meile sellise väikse pildi, kuidas me peaks valitsema siin eluse. In James chapter 3, verses 2 and 3. Ja Jakobuse 3, salmid 1 kuni 3. And James is talking... A, a, here about the power of our words. Ja Jakobus ta räägib siin meie sõnade väest. And he says here in verse 2 indeed we we all make many mistakes for if we could control our tongues we would be perfect and could also control ourselves in every other way. From the second verse. Yep. Mm-hmm. Teises salmist. Me kõik eksime paljus, kui keeg ei eksi kõnes, siis on ta täiuslik ja suuda pohjaldada ka kogu ihu. And so he says that our, our tongues are our words. Nii et ta ütleb seda, et siis meie keel, meie sõnade. If we can control that. Et kui meie suudame seda ohjeldada. We can control ourselves. Või kontrollida, mida me ütleme, mida me ütles, me suudame kontrollida ise ennast. And then he says in verse 3, and we put a bit in a horse's mouth and we make, make them obey us and we can turn the animal wherever we want. Kui me paneme aga hobusele suitset suhu, et oleks meile kuulekas, siis me juhime kogu hobuste. How does a bit work? Et kuidas need ohjad toimivad? Well, you put, it, you put it in the horse's mouth. Et sa paned need hobuse suhu. And then that bit puts pressure on the horse's tongue and he'll turn to get relief of the pressure. Ja siis need suitsed avaldavad talle pinget, kui sa sinna tõmmad pinget peale ja siis ta tahab vabaneda sellest pingest. And so, uh, you know, horses are a lot bigger and a lot stronger than we are. Hobused on palju suuremad ja palju tugevamad kui oleme meie. But we can control them through the tongue. Aga meie saame neid kontrollida läbi nend, kasutades neid suitsed. James is telling us. Ja siis Jakobus ütleb meile. We can control our whole life through our words. Et me ei saa kontrollida kogu oma elu läbi oma sõnade. And the Bible tells us oma that sõnadega. the tongue has the power of life and the tongue has the power of death. Ja Paulus räägib ka sellest, et keelel on siis see vägi siis elu jaoks ja vägi surma jaoks. And so if, if we control what we say, nii et kui me kontrollime seda, mida me ütleme, we can control our whole life. Me ei saame kontrollida kogu oma elu. If you could just guard your words and speak what is right. Et kui sa lihtsalt vaatad, mida sa ütled oma suust välja ja sa räägid õiged asju. You can control your future, you can control the outcomes of your life. Siis sa saad kontrollida oma tuleviku, oma tulemusi siin eluse. This is the authority that we have. Ja see on see meelevald, mis meil on. This is why it's, in, it's so important 
what we speak. Selle pärast on nii tähtis see, mida meie räägime. What we speak over ourselves, what we speak over others, what mida, we speak about our future. Mida me räägime enda üle, mida me räägime teiste üle, mida me räägime oma tuleviku üle. And so we get victory in life by what we say. Nii et meie saame võidu siin elus läbi selle, mida me ütleme. And if you learn to control your tongue, ja kui sina õpid kontrolli oma keelt, I believe you can learn to control your actions. Ma usun, et siis sa õpid ka kontrolli oma teguside. I believe you can control your addictions. Ma usun, et sa õpid kontrolli oma sõltuusi. You can control sin. Sa suudad kontrollida patu tegemist. You can control tragedy. Sa suudad kontrollida mingit tragöödiaid. You can control circumstances of your life. Sa suudad kontrollida olukordi enda eluse. I believe you can control where you go in your future. Ma usun, et sa saad kontrollida seda, kui sa liigud oma tuleviku. If you will learn to control what you speak about yourself now and then. Kui sina õpid kontrollima seda, mida sina räägid oma elukohta praegu ja tuleviku suhtes. And so the Bible says that, the, that, that our words are so important. Ja Biibel ütleb seda, et sõnad me elus, need on väga tähtsad. God showed that's how we use authority, that's how he used authority to create everything. Et Jumal näitas seda, et see on viis, kuidas tema kasutas meelevaldat luua kõike, mis on loodud. He gave Adam authority through his words to rule. Et andis Aadamale meelevala valitseda läbi oma sõnade. Jesus told his disciples, if, if we speak what is right and we believe it is true, from God then, then it will happen. Ja Jeesus ütles seda, et kui me siis usume oma südames ja räägime oma suuga, et see on õige asi, mida Jumal on öelnud, siis see asiga saab juhtuma. That this is this is how the plan of God is is supposed to work. Et see on see viis, kuidas Jumala plaan peaks toimima. And so for us if we can control our words. Ja meie kui me suudame kontrollida oma sõnu, we will have authority to make our life the way that God intended it to be. Meil saab olema meelevald siis suunata oma elu nii, et see saab olla nii nagu Jumal on seda plaanid algselt. And one of the ways to help us to guard our our words is to start renewing our mind with the word of God. Ja üks viisides kuidas siis siis vaadata seda mida ma oma suust välja ütlen on läbi selle et me hak- et me hakkame uuendama oma meeli läbi Jumala sõna. If we can learn if we can learn to control what we say. Et kui me õpime kontrollima seda mida me ütleme. You know, just like Jesus. Et täpselt nii nagu Jeesus. We can have amazing results. Siis meil saad olla imelised tulemused. Jesus controlled what he said. And every situation he was in. Igas olukorras, kus Jeesus oli, ta kontrollis seda, mida ta ütles. One thing I love about Jesus is he was never at a loss for words. Ja mis mulle meeldib on see, et Jeesus tal mitte kunagi tulnud sõnades puudust. Except for when he was going to pay our price. Et välja äratud siis, kui ta läks maksma hinda meie eest. He chose to keep his mouth quiet. Ta valis hoida oma suu kinni. Why? Miks? Because if he would have spoken, sest kui tema oleks rääkinud, he had authority to stop everything. Et tal oli meelevalt peatada kõike. So he chose to keep himself quiet. Ja ta valis olla vait. But in every other situation. Ja aga igas teises olukorras. Jesus was never at a loss for words. Jeesus el mitte kunagi tunnud sõnades puudust. And he didn't didn't always speak long. Sometimes it was just really short. Ja ei olnud nii et ta alati kogu aeg ta rääkis pikalt. Mõnikord ta ütles lühidalt midagi. And he would he would answer somebody's question with another question. Ja ta vast näiteks ta vastas kellegi küsimusele uue küsimusega. You know, they would come to him and say, "Well, what about this?" and he would say, "Well, what about that?" And et keegi oli oh, ta yeah, juurde, okay, et right. kuidas on sellega ka tõtsida, aga kuidas on sellega vastu. I, that's that's pretty amazing how sharp he was. Et see on päris imeline, kui tark kui nutikas ta terald oli. And then he would speak terane. to things over people's lives. Ja ta rääkis asju inimeste elude üle. And things would change. Ja asjad muutusid. And he would speak to a storm and it would Go away. Ta ütles tormile ja torme vaibus. And so he showed them through example how to have authority in life. Ja ta näitas neile läbi eeskuju, kuidas kasutada meelevalda siin eluse. And again it's through controlling our words. Ja jällegi see on läbi meie sõnade kontrollimise. Jesus said just make sure the source of everything you speak is the word of God. Ja Jeesus ütles, sa tee kindlaks et kõik need asjad mida mida sina räägid, et nende allikas oleks Jumala sõnas. And God will do his will in our life. Ja Jumal teeb tema tahet meie eluse. When we learn to speak God's will for our life. Kui me õpime rääkima Jumala tahet oma elu jaoks. And so nothing is more important I believe than what we say. Nii et ma arvan, et mitte miski ei ole tähtsam kui see, mida meie ütleme. It is the source of all our outcomes in life by is what we say. See on kõikide meie elu tulemust allikas, see mida meie ütleme. And when you have the right words, I believe we could set our future in the right direction. Ja kui sul on õiged sõnad, siis ma usun, et me saame suunata oma tuleviku õigesse suunda. Now, uh, nüüd everyone knows that God is holy. Iga üks teab seda, et Jumal on püha. If you say God is holy, there is yeah, yeah, I agree. Kui sa ütled, et Jumal on püha, siis ja but if I ask the question today in this room, aga kui mina täna siin selles ruumis yeah, küsiksin küsimuse, you don't need to respond. Sa ei pea vastama. But if I ask today who is holy, et kui ma küsiksin seda, et 
kes teist on püha, you would probably have very few people raise their hand. Siis tõenäoliselt väga vähesed inimesed tõstaksid oma käe. Because everybody thinks, well, no, nope, not so holy. Kuna kõik mõtleksid seda, et ei, mitte nii väga püha. Uh, no, I've, I've screwed up quite a bit actually, so no, I'm not going to raise my hand on that one. Ei, ma olen päris palju mööda pannud ja ma ei hakka oma kätt praegu siin tõstma. Uh, and so a lot of people, they, they will, will not say this is me when it comes to holiness. Ja väga mitmed inimesed ei ütle seda, et, et see on mina, mis puutub püha, püha olemiste. They'll say it's Jesus. Nad ütlevad seda, Jeesus on püha. It's our father. Me, meie isa on püha. They're holy. Nemad on pühad. But me, no, no. Aga mina ei, ei, ei. No, I, I go to church, but I'm not holy. Ma käin kogus koosolekutel küll, aga mina ei ole püha. Yeah, I, I love God. Ma armastan Jumalat. Aga I'm not holy. Mina ei ole püha. But the Bible says that by the blood of Jesus. Aga Bible ütleb seda, et läbi Jeesuse vere. We've been made holy. Meid on tehtud pühadeks. And we've been made righteous. Ja meid on tehtud õigeks. And so if you're a Christian, nii et kui sina oled kristlane, you need to believe this about yourself. Sa pead uskuma seda enda kohta. You're made holy. Et sind on tehtud pühaks. And you might try to argue with me and say, no, you, you don't know my life. Ja sa võid vaielda minu, kui öelda seda, et tead, sina ei tea, mis mu elus toimub. But listen, <coughs> I want you to understand this is our position. Aga ma tahan, et sa saaksid aru sellest, et see on meie positsioon. This is who we are. See on see, kes me oleme. It's not based on what we do. See ei põhine selle põhjal, mida meie nüüd teeme. And in Ephesians chapter 1, ja kiiras Efelastel esimene pead ütles. Ephesians 1 verse 1. Efelastel 1 esimene pea salm. Paul is writing to the church at Ephesus. Ja Paulus kirjutab Efesuse kogudusele. How do you know the church in Ephesus is not a perfect church? Kuvaat siis tead seda, et kogudus Efesoses ei ole täiuslik kogudus. Just like Elava V kogudus is not a perfect church. Täpselt nii nagu Elava V kogudus ei ole täiuslik kogudus. We are all just people. Me kõik oleme lihtsalt inimesed. And so Paul writing to the church at Ephesus Says this. Paul, as an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, Paulus, Jumala tahtmisel, Kristuse Jeesus apostel, to the holy people of Ephesus, the faithful in Christ Jesus. Pühadele, kes on Efesoses ja uskrikele Kristuses Jeesuses. Who's Paul writing to? Et kellele kirjutab Paulus? The church. Kogudusele. He's not writing to the two guys in the church that are holy. Ei, ta ei kirjuta nendele kahele tüübile, kes selle koguduses on pühad. He's writing to the whole church. Ta kirjutab kogu kogudusele. And he said to God's holy people. Ja ta ütleb siin, et Jumala pühadele, pühadele. I, I want you to know this morning if you believe in Jesus Christ. Ma tahan, et sa teaks täna hommikul seda, kui sina usud Jeesusesse, You are God's holy people. Siis sina oled Jumala püha rahvas. You are holy in his eyes. Sina oled püha tema silmis. He loves you and he cares for you. Ta armastab sind, ta hoolib sinust. And he's made you holy. Ja ta on teinud sind pühas. So that we have the privilege to come to worship and praise and hear from heaven. Need meil on see privilege tulla ülistada Jumalat, kiita teda, kuulda tema taevast, olla tema ligiolus. So Paul is writing to a church that he calls holy. Need Paulus kirjutab kogudusele, keda tema nimetab pühadeks. And they are made holy by the blood, the redeeming work of Jesus Christ. Ja nad on tehtud pühaks läbi Jeesuse Kristuse vere, läbi Jeesuse Kristuse lunastustöö. Not that they were all perfect. Eh, mitte et nad kõik oleksid täiuslikud. But they have all been changed. Aga nad kõik on muudetuda because of their faith in Jesus Christ. Läbi nende usu Jeesusesse Kristusesse. They've been made new on the inside. Neid on tehtud loodud uueks eesmiselt. Because Jesus Christ paid a price for them. Kuna Jeesus Kristus maksis hinna nende eest. And so how do you become holy? Need kuidas sina saad pühaks? Well, you got to be really good for at least a month and you could say you're holy. Eh, kas sa pead olema kuu aega piisavalt hästi käituma ja siis sa saad öelda seda, et ma olen püha. No, how do you become holy? Ei, kuidas sina saad pühaks? Well, you got to pray three hours every day, then you could be holy. Iga päev pead palet Ma kolm tundi, no. siis sa saad pühaks. How do you become holy? Ei, kuidas sina saad pühaks? By accepting Jesus Christ. Läbi selle, et sa võtad vastu Jeesuse Kristus oma isendaks. That's what you that's how you become holy. Et see on see viis, kuidas sina saad pühaks. Well, how do you stay holy then? Et kuidas sa püsid pühana siis? As you stay in Christ. On kui see, kui sina püsid Kristuses. And if, if you if you sin, kui sa teed patu, does that remove your holiness? Et kas see eemaldab sinu pühaduse? The answer is no. Vastus on ei. If you receive Jesus Christ, kui sina võtad vastu Jeesuse Kristuse, he's made you holy. Siis ta on teinud sind pühaks. He's made you 
righteous. Ta on teinud sinde õigeks. He's giving you his place because he took yours. Ta on annud sulle enda koha, kuna tema võttis sinu koha. And then the question is, but what if you do something really bad? Aga küsimus on see, aga kui sa teed midagi väga halba. Like what if you kill somebody? Or, mis on siis, kui sa tapad ära kellegi? What if you lie? Sellist, kui sa valetad? Or, what if you steal? Või kui sa varastad? Or what if you commit a sexual sin? Aga siis, kui sa teed mingit seksuaal patu. What then? Mis siis? Are you still holy? Kas oled ikka püha? And listen. Ja kuule nüüd. The answer is yes. Vastus on ja. Yes. Ja. Because you are not made holy by your actions. Kuna sina ei ole tehtud pühaks läbi oma tegude. And so you cannot be made unholy by your actions. Nii et sind ei saa teha ebapühaks läbi sinu tegude. Again, I can see some of you going bzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
tahtma seda, et ma annan oma parima ja ma jooksen. I want to run my race. I et, don't want to walk mine. Et mina jooksen oma võidu jooksu. Ma ei taha seda kuidagi jalutada. I käia. think some Christians walk their race. Ja ma arvan seda, et mõned inimesed, mõned kristlased, nad jalutavad oma seda võidu jooksu. Paul said, I ran my race. Et Paulus ütles seda, et mina olen jooksnud oma võidu jooksu. And so if you could run a race, you could walk a race or you don't have to, to even race. Nii et sa saad siis oma võidu jooksu kas joosta või käia või üldse mitte sellel edasi liikuda. I want to be like Paul. Mina tahan olla selline nagu Paulus. And I want to run my race. Mina tahan joosta oma võidu jooksu. And I want to run to win. Ja ma tahan joosta, et võit. And I want to fight the fight of faith and win. Ja ma tahan võidelda usu võitlust ja võita. Because we have the victory in Christ Jesus. Kuna meil on võit Jeesuses Kristuses. And so this gift that he has given us. Nii et see kingitus, mille tema meil on annud. This gift of grace. Et see armu kingituse. It's what makes us righteous. It makes us holy. On see, mis teeb meid õigeks, mis teeb meid pühaks. And it gives us authority in this life. Ja see annab meile meelevala siin selle seluse. You are not made holy by your actions. Siin te ei ole tehtud ja pühaks sinu tegude tõttu. And so you are not made unholy by your actions. Nii et siin te ei tehta ebapühaks sinu tegude tõttu. You are made holy because of Christ Jesus and what he did, not what you did. Siin on tehtud ja pühaks läbi Jeesuse Kristuse nende selle tõttu, mida tema tegi. And we've always been taught that you get what you deserve in life. Ja meid on aalt õpetatud nii, et sa saad elus seda... Sa saad oma elus seda, mida sa külvad. And so if you study hard, you'll get good grades. If you don't, you won't. Et kui sa õpid kõvasti, siis sa saad tead inded. Kui sa ei õpi, siis sa ei saa. If you work faithful and you work hard, you'll make money. If you're lazy and stay home, you'll be poor. Kui sa töötad kõvasti, teed kõvasti tööd, siis teenid hästi. Kui oled laiske, ei vitsi tööl käia, siis oled vaene. And so you get what you deserve in life. Nii et sa saad siin elus seda, mida sa väärid. And this is the way that we're raised. This is the, you know, if, if you're good, you'll get ice cream. If you're not good, you'll go to bed without it. Ja siis nii on meid siin elus õpetatud. Kui sa oled hea, siis sa saad jäätist. Kui sa ei ole hea, siis sa lähed magama ilma jäätiseta. I think that's why when I moved out of the house, I just started eating all the ice cream I could, because I could never eat it when I was a kid. Ja ma arvan seda, et selle pärast on nii, et kui ma kodust ära kolisin, siis ma hakkasin kogu aeg jäätis nii palju sööma, kuna kodus mulle eriti jantuda. Because, uh, you know, so, I mean, I love, if, if, if ice cream was healthy, I'd be the healthiest man on the planet. Kui uh, see jäätis oleks tervislik toit, siis mina oleksin kõige tervislikum toitu ja kogu planeedil. But Jesus said, Aga Jeesus ütles, it's not about you. Et asi ei ole sinuse. It's about me. Vaid asi on minuse. Paul writing by inspired by the Holy Spirit. Ja Paulus siis kirjutab neile inspireeritune pühast vaimust. Says it's not about you. It's about him. Ütleb neile, et asi ei ole teis, asi on temase. You need to become aware that this is his gift to me. It is not the gift that I'm having to earn daily. Ja te peate aru saama sellest, et see ei ole see kingitus, et see on kingitus temalt, see ei ole kingitus, mida mina pean igapäevaselt kuidagi välja teenima. But the devil is going to try to tell you, you don't deserve it. Aga kurab proib sulle öelda seda, sulle teha selgeks seda, et sa ei vääri seda. Because you only get what you deserve. Kuna sa saad ainult seda, mida sina oled ise teenid välja oma tegudega. And look at your life, you don't deserve Jesus. Ja vaata nüüd enda elu peale, sina ei vääri Jeesust. You don't deserve to be called righteous. Et sina ei vääri, et sin nimetatakse õigeks. You don't deserve to, to, to call yourself holy. People. Sina ei vääri seda, et sa nüüd saaksid ennast nimetada pühaks. Look at you unholy. Vaata ennast sina ebapüha. You don't deserve it. Et sa ei vääri seda. This is the way I want you to answer that thought when it comes to your head. Ja nüüd see on viis, kuidas mina tahan, et sa vastaksid sellele mõttele, kui see tuleb sulle mõtetes. This siis is the way I want you to answer that when those things come to your heart. Ja see on viis, kuidas ma tahan, et sina vastaksid, kui need asjad tulevad sinu südamesse. When those things try to attack you, when the enemy tries to lie to you. Kui need asjad proovid sinna rünnata, maailmane proovib sulle valetada. You need to stand up boldly and say, yes, I don't deserve it. Ja sa pead seisma julgelt ja ütlema julgelt, ja ma ei vääri seda oma tegudega. But he gave it to me anyway. Aga Jumal andis mulle selle ikkagi. Amen. I don't deserve it. Et ma ei ole seda välja teeninud. But it was the free gift that Jesus has given to us. Aga see on see tasute kingitus, mille Jeesus Kristus on annud meile. And I don't deserve it, but I receive it. Ma ei ole seda välja teeninud, ma ei ole seda kuidagi ise väärt, aga ma võtan selle vastu. And I don't deserve to be a child of God, but he made me ma his child. Ma ei vääri olla Jumala laps, aga tema on teinud mind tema lapseks. And I don't deserve to have authority in life, but he has given me authority through his righteousness. Mina ei vääri seda meelevalda, aga ta on annud mulle selle meelevala läbi Jeesuse Kristuse. He did it 
anyway. Ta tegi seda ikkagi. And I'm saved. Ja mina olen päästetud. And you're saved. Ja sina olen päästetud. And we will go and be with him forever. Ja me läheme, oleme koos temaga igavesti. Not because we deserve it. Mitte selle tõttu, et meie oleks selle kuidagi teeninud välja. But because of God's great love for us, it's the free gift that he's given to us. Vaid tänu sellele Jumala tasuta kingitusele, armastuse kingitusele, mille tema on meile annud. He loves you so much. He said, I will cleanse you from the inside out. Ja ta armastab sin nii palju, ta ütleb seda, et ma puhastan sind sees poolt välja poole. You know, there's no such thing as somebody who's kind of half saved. Ei, ei ole olemas sellist, kes on nagu pooleldi päästetud. You either are or you aren't. Sa kas oled või sa ei ole. You weren't saved yesterday and then screw up, so you're not saved ei today. Ei ole nii, et eile sa olid päästetud, täna panid mööda mingi asjaga ja nüüd sa enam ei ole. How many of your moms used to scare you with that? Mine did. Kui palju teema teid kunagi on nii hirmutanud? Ja ma vaatad selle. My mom, would, you, my mom used to tell me now, don't, don't go do that because if Jesus comes back when you're doing that, you're not going to go to heaven. Ja mida minu ema ütles oli see, et tead, ära sa mina ja tee seda asja. Tead, kui Jeesus praegu tuleb tagasi ja sina seda asja oled teinud, siis ta jätab sinu maha. Are you lying to me? Kas sa valetad mulle või? If Jesus comes back right now, you don't want to go to hell. Don't lie to me. Kui Jeesus praegu tuleb tagasi, sa ei taha minna põrgus, ära mulle valeta. And so I said, okay, 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 I don't want to go to hell. I'll tell you the truth. Ma ütlesin, jah, küll ja küll, ma ei taha põrgusse minna, ma ütlen sulle. But that's really not how how it works even though that's how maybe mom has done it aga see ei ole see viis kuidas asi toimib võib-olla emad on seda kasutanud because we don't we, we, we don't lose it by our wrong actions because we didn't gain it by our right actions. ei ei kaota seda oma valede tegude tõttu kuna me ei saanud seda oma õigete tegude tõttu and mom i still love you ja ei ma ikka armastan sin näeme järgmine kord all right but but here we we see that there's so much aga me näeme seda selles on nii, nii palju that we have been given by jesus mida meil on antud läbi jeesuse jeesuse poolt and we didn't deserve it ja me ei olnud seda, ei ole seda kuidagi välja teeninud we didn't deserve it me ei ole seda oma tegudega välja teeninud but he loved you that much aga ta armastas sin nii palju that he said i'm going to give you everything et ta ütles et ma annan sulle kõik all you got to do is accept it kõik mida sul on vaja on see vastu vaid võtta Uh, just just take my righteousness lihtsalt võta mu õigsus and take my holiness and ja võta mu pühadus take my authority and go do it võta mu meelevald mina ja tee seda and just i just no i love you that much ja tea seda et mina armastan sin nii palju and the problem is so many christians have been given all this and we don't use any of it ja probleemiks on see et paljude kristlastega on nii et meile kõigil on see antud aga me ei kasuta seda because we believe in the lie of the enemy that we're not worthy kuna me usume vaana see valet et me ei ole seda väärt we're not righteous and holy me ei ole õiged ega pühad jesus was you're not jesus oli aga sina ei ole we don't have authority jesus did you don't meil ei ole meelevalda jesus sel oli aga sul ei ole and the church has become powerless ja kogudus on ilma väeta and weak ja nõrke and we were we're you know preachers beat up people by telling them you're so unholy what's wrong with you ja jutlustajad si sanad inimestele kolki öeldes seda et tead olete nii eba pühad mis teil viga on you know you got so many issues would you all just grow up and be godly teil on nii igas nii palju igast erinevaid probleeme mille te elus on tead üskord saage täis kasvanu please try it for one week church kogudus vähem proovige vähemalt üks nädal and and so pastors are putting all this pressure and we're thinking oh, i'm so unworthy ja pastor pane nad sellise surre peale siis mõ Ma oh, olen nii ebapüha. And so I'm going to just give up and quit because, you know. Ma annan lihtsalt alla, loobun. Uh, who, who can live it? I can't. Sest kes suudaks seda elada? Mina ei suuda. Uh, uh, you know what? I saw the pastor yell at his wife the other day, so I don't think he's living it either. Ja tead mida? Ma nägin eem nädal pastorite tema naist ja tead nemad, mis ka ei ela püha elu. And I saw that other guy calls himself a believer and he's not doing it. Nägin right. kaasa ühte seda teist mees, kes nimetab ka ennast uh, kristlaseks, aga ma nägin, mis so ta tegi. They can't do it. I can't do it. Nii et kui nemad ei suuda seda teha, ei suuda ka mina seda so teha. So the church is trying to give back everything that Jesus is trying to give to us. Nii et kogudus proovib anda tagasi kõike seda, mida Jeesus proovib anda kogudus. Like, no, 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 I don't, yeah, can't, can't have that. I don't want any of that because ei, ei, ma ei saa seda võtta, ma ei saa, mul ei saa see, seda asja olla. I, I can't have authority. I don't, I don't want authority. Mul ei saa olla meelevalda, ma ei taha seda meelevalda. Because I kind of like my little sins, so I've given Kuna that. mulle tead, nagu meeldib minu väikene patsin, et ära anna mulle seda asja. Yeah, we have a little pet sin sometimes. I'll, I'll, Jesus Everything I'll give to you except this one little. Mõni kord meil on selis et meie lemmik loome patud mida on nii et tead Jeesus ja sa need asjad võtta selas olla si ei ei ma ei võtta seda mis sul on ma ei ole väärt seda. 
you know, just this one area, that's all. Just, this is mine and the rest is yours. Näet, mul on see üks väike nasi siin. Kõik muu valdkonna teha ka, lasse üks see siin, see on minu. You know, I'm going to steal a little bit on the side because I've got to take care of my family, but ma, the rest is yours. Ma natuke varastan kõrvalt, et kuna ma pean juba perest hoolt kalma, aga üleend on minu elu, on see on sinu käes. You know, you, you understand, Lord, you understand. Issand, sa saad ju aru, sa mõistad ju. No, he doesn't understand, first of all. Ei, eesmalt, ta ei saa aru, miks sa teed. Because he's being so good to you, he wants you just to trust him. Kuna ta on nii hea sinu vastu, et taab seda, et sa usaldaks Say it's all for you. And you love me so much and you give me all I have and I want to live for you. And he is saying, then I'm giving it all, just use it. If we'll start cooperating with the gift of Jesus Christ, we're going to start seeing so much more in life. Jeesuse Kristuse kingitustega, mis ta meile on annud, siis me saame nii palju enam tegema tema jaoks. And so Jesus got everything back for us. Ja elama seda elu, mis tal meie jaoks on, Jeesus ta sai kõik tagasi meie jaoks. We would just believe. Et kui meie vaid usume. The righteousness is available to all if we'll just accept it. See õiksus on saadavale igal ühele meile, kui me lihtsalt võtame selle vastu. And it was Jesus who got it for us. Ja see oli Jeesus, kes sai selle meie jaoks. Adam lost it in the garden. Adam ta kaotas selle aias. Jesus gave it back through his resurrection. Ja Jeesus andis selle tagasi läbi oma ülestõusmise. And now we can live by faith. Ja nüüd meie saame elada läbi usu. Living by faith is the only way for us to please God. Usu läbi elamine, see on ainus viis, kuidas olla Jumalale meele pärane. And after everything God has given you, you want to please him. Ja peale seda, peale kõike seda, mis Jumal sulle on annud, sa tahad olla talle meele pärane. Sa peaks tahtma olla talle meele pärane. Teha seda, mis talle meeldib. You can't do, you can't make this in your own life. Et sa ei saa kudagi ise panna seda toimima oma eluse. You just have to receive what he gives you. Sa lihtsalt pead vastu võtma selle, mis ta sulle on annud. And this is what is so awesome about our righteousness. Ja see on nii ime võimas meie õiksuse juures. This is what's so awesome about the holiness that we have. Ja see on nii võimas selle pühaduse juures, mis meil on. That we can go stand before a holy God and we belong. Meie saame minna oma püha Jumala ette. And we belong there. Ja me kuulume sinna paika. We belong there. Meie kuulume sinna. Because we're holy too by Jesus. Ka me ei oleme pühad läbi Jeesuse. We don't have to stand there in, in, in fear or shame. Et sa ei pea seisma seal kuidagi hirmus ja häbis. Uh, so so we, we, we are, we're, we're able to do so much more because of Christ. Nii et me oleme võimsed tegema nii palju enamat tänu Jeesusele Kristusele. Satan will try to tell you, well, God is going to just leave you alone because you're so horrible. Ja saatan proovib sulle öelda seda, et tead, Jumal lihtsalt jätab su sinna kõrvale kuskile, kuna sina oled nii ebapüha. But that's not how it works. Aga see ei ole viis, kuidas see käib. The Bible says Jesus gave it once for all for eternity. Ja piibel ütleb seda, et Jeesus tandis selle ühe korra, ta siis tegi seda ühe korra kõigi jaoks igaviseks. Ja, and so by faith, Nii et läbi usu meie võtame vastu. By faith we're born again. Läbi usu meie sünnime uuesti. By faith we receive righteousness. Läbi usu meie võtame vastu õiksuse. By faith we receive holiness. Läbi usu meie võtame vastu pühaduse. And then by faith we could use our authority because of who we are. Ja läbi usu meie saame kasutada meie meelevalda selle tõttu, kes me oleme. And thanks to Jesus. Ja tänu Jeesusele. We have authority in life. Meil on meelevalt siin eluse. This is not just about you. This is all about him. Et asja ei ole kuidagi and so if, if, if you start feeling like you're, you're not worthy, Kui sa hakkad tunnma ennast, et sa ei ole väärt, just remind yourself you're not. Siis lihtsalt meenuta endale, et ei ole asjad nii. And it'll make you so thankful for what you do have. Ja see teeb sinne nii tänulikuks selle suhtes, mis sul on. This is why we come every Sunday and praise and worship God. Ja sellepärast me tuleme igal pühapeal, me ülistame, kiidame Jumalat. Because he has given it to us and we didn't deserve it. Kuna ta on annud meile kõik selle, mida me ei olnud ja ise kuidagi ei välja teenud. This is why we can put a smile on our face, even though the world seems to fall around us. Ja sellepärast meil saab olla naeratus suul isegi siis, kui paistab, et kogu maailm, mis me ümber on, kogu kokku. Why are you smiling? Et mis sa naeratad seda? Mis sa naeratad? So much from God, you just don't understand. Mis sul see irves on näha peal on, eks? And it's not... Et Jumal on nii hea, ta on nii palju hea teilud mu elu jaoks, see mul on... And it's not about what's going on around me, it's about what I have. Et asja ei ole selles, mis su elus su ümber toimub, vaid selles, mis mul on. You just don't know what I have. Et sa ei seda tea, mis mul on. If you knew what I have, you'd be happy too. Kui sa teaks seda, mis mul on, ka sina oleksid õnnelike. 
the worst thing that could happen is we die and then I get to go to heaven and so it's not so bad. Hullem asi, mis kõige hullemis juhtuda saab on see, et me sureme ära, mina lähen taevasse ja see on ju nii hea. And so God loves you no matter what. Need Jumal armastab sind, vahet ei ole mis. Jesus has already provided for you no matter what. Ja Jeesus on sind juba varustanud, vahet ei ole mis. All you have to do is to receive it. Et kõik, mida on vaja, on vaja vastu võtta. By faith you say I want to make you my Lord and Savior. Et sa ütled, läbi usu sa ütled, et ma tahan teha sind oma isse. You are saved. Ja sina oled päästetud you are siis. part of the family. Sa oled osa Jumala perekonnast. That life of God is on the inside of you again. Ja Jumala elu on jälle sinus. <laughs> Everything is new. Ja kõik on loodud uueks. And so don't let anyone tell you that you're not. Ja ära lase kellegile öelda seda, et sa ei ole. You just speak and say this is who I am. Vaid, this is what the Bible, who sa, the Bible says. Saan räägi ja ütle, see on see, kes ma olen. See on see, mida Biibel ütleb, kes mina olen. And you have the same rights as Jesus has now. Ja sul on need samad õigused nüüd, mis on Jeesusele. And it's amazing the plan of God. Ja see on imeline Jumala plaan. I used to think it was unfair that Adam made me a sinner. Ja varem ma mõtsin, et see oli nii ebaõiglane, et Aadam tegi mind patuseks. Now I'm so thankful for God's plan because that means Jesus means that I'm righteous and holy. Aga ma olen nii täunlik nüüd selle eest, et kuna see tähendab nüüd seda, et Jeesus on teinud mind pühaks ja õigeks. I read one more scripture here today. Ja siin loeme täna veel ühe kirja koha. Titus chapter 3. Tiituse kolmas peatükke. Titus chapter 3, I want to read verses 4 through verse 7. Tiituse kolmas peatükk, tahan lukeda salmid 4 kuni 7. And it says, And when the kindness and the love of our Savior appeared, He saved us, not because of the right things we had done, but because of His Mercy. He saved us through the washing and rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Kui aga Jumala meie pääst ja helduse inimese armastus ilmus, siis ta päästis meid, mitte õiguse tegude tõttu, mida meie nagu oleksime teinud, vaid oma halastust mööda, uuesti sünni pesemise ja püha vaimu uuendamise kaudu. So we are saved not because of what we did, but because of what he did. Nii et me ei oleme päästetud mitte selle nende tegude tõttu, mida meie te- nagu oleks teinud, vaid selle tõttu, mida tema tegi. And he's given us his Holy Spirit. Ja ta on annud meile oma püha vaimu. Verse 6 says, whom he poured out on us generously through Christ Jesus our savior. Seda vaimu on ta meie peale ohtralt valanud Jeesuse Kristuse meie päest ja läbi. So that having been justified by his grace, we might become heirs having hope of eternal life. Et meie tema armust õigeks saanud oleksime igaves elu päriaiks lootuse põhjal. So we are righteous. Nii et meie oleme õiged. Because of because of Jesus. Ja et tänu Jeesusele. And then we are heirs of God, co-heirs with Christ. Ja me oleme Jumala pärijad, Kristuse kaas pärijade. And then we have a hope of eternal life. Ja meil on igaves elu lootuse. And life doesn't get any better. Ja elu ei saagi olla parem. I don't know why everybody on the planet doesn't want to be a Christian. Ja ma ei mõista, mille pärast enamus Krist... siis Inimesed, kes on maailmas, suur osa neist ei taha saada kristlasteks. I don't understand why anybody would say, well, no, that's not for me. Et ma ei saa aru, mille pärast keegi ütleks, et kuule, see nüüd küll minu jaoks. What are you talking about, it's not for you, this is life. Et mis sa räägid, see ei ole sinu jaoks, see on ju elu. This is what it's all about. Et see on see kõik see oluline. I was talking with somebody today and we're, you know, or not today, this week, I was talking with somebody. Ja selle nädalal ma rääkisin kelle kõige. And as we were sitting there talking and he said, well, then, Why doesn't everybody want to be a Christian? Ja kui me rääkisime seal ja siis uh, ütles nagu rääkisime sellest et miks kõik ei tahaks olla kristlased. And that was my question. I asked him back. Ja, I don't know. What do you think? Ja see oli minu küsimus et ma ei tea mis sa mõtled sellest. Why wouldn't everybody want to be a Christian if this is what we have? Miks on nii et uh, mitte kõik inimesed ei taha olla kristlased kui see on see mis meil olemas on? And the reason is is because the devil has deceived them. They're blind. Et põhjus on see et uh, kurat on neid uh, petnud kurat on neid pimestanud. And all we have to do is go show the light. Ja kõik, mida meil on vaja teha, on see, et minna ja näidata neile valgust. Let them know they don't have to be perfect to come to God. Anda neile teada seda, et nad ise ei pea olema täiuslikud selleks, et tulla Jumala juurde. And you're not perfect. Ja sina ei ole ise enda tegudest But täiuslik. God loves us and he has given us this gift Aga of righteousness. Aga Jumala armastab meid ja ta on annud meile selle õiksuse kingituse. Listen, everyone ja needs a savior. Iga üks vaja Did pääst. Did I read verse 7 to you? I don't know. So the no. I mean, just five by grace. Okay. No, uh, six. So, uh, just. Uh, did I, okay, let me read six and seven. Whom he poured out on us, generously for Christ Jesus. Oh, okay. I did. So that okay. having been justified by grace, we might become heirs, having a hope of eternal life. Yes, I did read that. Okay. Anyway, that's what the Bible says, and that's awesome. Et, ja, et seda vaimu on ta meie peale ohtralt valanud Jeesuse Kristuse meie pääste läbi, et meie tema armust õigeks saanud oleksime igaves elu pärjaeks lootuse põhjal. And so my point is here. Ja see minu mõte siin on see. Everybody needs a savior. Iga üks vajab päästjate. Because everybody 
is born in Adam. Et kuna iga üks on sündinud Aadamas. And everybody can be transformed into Christ Jesus. Ja iga üks võib saada siis muudetud, transformeeritud Jeesusesse Kristusesse. But we need a savior. Aga me vajame päästjat. And somebody might say, well, what do I need to be saved from? My life is fine. Aga mõni võib öelda seda, et aga milles mul vaja saada päästetud on mu elu on nii hea. You need to be saved from spiritual death. Ja, sa pead saama päästetud vaimses surmast. Because without Jesus you're dead inside. Selle pärast et ilma Jeesus et sa oled seismiselt surnud. But with Jesus you become alive. Aga koos Jeesusega sina saad elavaks. You're given a righteousness and a holiness that you don't deserve. Et sulle siis antakse see õigsus ja pühadus mida sina ei ole ise välja teeninud. And he takes us out uh, from under the enesest väärt. And he takes us out from under the power of sin and death. Ja ta võtab meid ära siis selle patu ja surma võimu alt. And he puts us back into the life of God. Ja ta paneb meid tagasi Jumala ellu. This is God's amazing plan for us. This is why this is the greatest message that can be preached in the world. See on Jumala imeline plaan. Selle pärast on kõige imelisem sõnum, mida saab kuulutada kogu maailmas. Because we're heirs of God. Kuna me oleme Jumala pärijad. It all belongs to us because of what he did. See kõik kuulub meile selle tõttu, mida tema tegi. And this means that when we are believers. Ja see tähendab seda, et kui me oleme usklikud. That we have authority again on the earth. Meile jälle on meelevalt siin maa peal because of what Christ Jesus has provided for us. Et selle tõttu millega Jeesus Kristus meid on varustanud. Not your goodness but what he did. Mitte sinu headuses ei ole asi vaid selles mida tema tegi. And you might say what well, you've repeated yourself a lot today and I know that. Sa võid öelda seda et tead sa ennast täna päris palju korranud eh. Ja ma tean seda. I, I'm doing it on purpose. Ma teen seda sihilikult. It's not I didn't have notes and so I just don't know what I'm saying. I know what I'm saying. Ei asi ole selles et mul ei ole märkmeid ja ma ei tea mida öelda. Ma tean küll mida ma ütlen. But I know that so many people have got these these other thoughts and I'm trying to break through some of those things to let you know who you are. Ma tean seda et väga mitmetel inimestel on sellised sellised mõtted mis proovad neid pimestada nägemast ja siis ma tahan sul anda teada et sulle kuulub see that we are heirs of God. Et me oleme Jumala pärijad. And we've been given back our righteousness that was lost. Et meil on antud tagasi see õigsus mille me olime kaotanud. And that means that we have authority on the earth. Need see tähendab seda et meil on meelevalt siin maa peal. Because Jesus Christ got the victory. Kuna Jeesus Kristus sai võidu. Because Jesus Christ is Lord. Kuna Jeesus Kristus on issand. Because Jesus Christ is our savior. Kuna Jeesus Kristus on meie päästja. And because he is Lord and because he is savior. Ja kuna tema on issand, kuna tema on päästja. I am righteous. Mina olen õigeks tehtud. You are righteous. Et sina oled õige. And we have authority in life. Ja meil on meelevalt sin eluse. Watch what you say. Vaata, jälgi mida sa ütled. Guard your words carefully. Et valva oma suud, vaata mida sa oma suust välja ütled. Make sure that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. Ja tee kindlaks, et Jeesus Kristus on sinu issand. Seal the deal today if you're not sure. Seal the deal. Et kinnita täna täna see asite see leping Jumalaga, kui sul seda ei ole. Või tähendab, kui sa ole sellest kindel. And then once you once you once you know that you're in his hands. Kui sa tead seda, et sina oled tema kätes. Once you use your faith to become new. Kui sina kasutad oma usku selleks, et saada uueks, then you could use your faith to please God. Siis sa saad kasutada oma usku selleks, et elada Jumalale meelepäraselt. And use your faith to run. Ja kasutada oma usku selleks, et jooksta. And run, Christian, run. Ja jookse, kristlane, jookse. Go be who it is that God Mine wants you to be. Ole see, keda Jumal tahab, et sa oleksid. Don't let the devil lie to you and tell you you can't Ära do it. Ära lase kuradil endale valetada ja öelda, et sa ei suuda seda. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who gives you this. Sa suudad kõik levi Jeesuse Kristuse, kes teeb sind tugevaks. You are not alone and you are not without help. Sa ole üksi ega ilma abita. You have a savior who is here for you. Sul on päästja, kes on siin sinuga koos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Jumal on hea. Amen. Amen. Did you get something out of this today? Ei, kas sina täna said sellest midagi? Praise God. I Kiitus hope so. Jumalale. Väga loodan, et nii Would on. you stand with me? Let me pray over you. Ja, palun tõuse püsti, las ma palvetada sinu üle. Hallelujah. Father, I love you so much. Isa, ma nii väga armastan sind. Thank you for your word. I thank you for your sõna eest. Thank you for your amazing plan. I thank you for sinu imelise plaani eest. I thank you for the plan that you came Jesus Jesus and you fulfilled perfectly. Jesus, ma tänan sind selle plaani eest, et sa tulid siia, sa tegid täitsid selle plaani täiuslikult. Oh, and how how amazed we are by you. Ja kui me nii mätleme sind. We are so thankful. Me oleme nii tänulikud. For all that you've given to us. Kõige selle pärast, mis sa oled meile annud. We're so thankful for this gift of grace. Me oleme nii tänulikud selle armu kingituse eest. We're so thankful that we are righteous because of you. Me oleme nii tänulikud, et me oleme õiged sinu pärast. We're so thankful that we are holy because of you. Me oleme nii tänulikud, et me oleme pühad sinu pärast. That we can stand before a holy God. Et me saame seista püha Jumala ees. We belong here. Ja me kuulume siia sellesse paikka. We belong in your presence. Me kuulume sinu ligi olla. And we receive 
receive all that you have given. Ja, me võtame vastu kõik selle, mis sina oled annud. And Lord, I pray that our minds would be opened even more to Ja, isa, ma palun seda, et meie meeled saaksid veel rohkem avatuda. So that our hearts would become more and more bold. Et meie süda saaks veel rohkem ja rohkem julgemaks. That we would be able to go out into this world. Et me oleksime võimused minema välja siia sellesse maailma. And be who you've called us to be. Ja olema need, kelleks sina oled meid kutsunud. So Lord, I just thank you for speaking to people's hearts. Isa, ma täna sind, et sina kõnetad inimeste südameid. Thank you for strengthening us today. Ai täh, et sina tugevdad meid täna. And I believe that this message. Ja ma usun seda, et see sõnume. Will have continued effect through our lives. Saab olema jätkuv efekt meie eludes. As we begin to use the authority that you have given to us. Kui me hakkame kasutama seda meelevalda, mille sina oled meile annud. Help us. Aita meide. Teach us. Õpeta meide. Reveal yourself more and more to us through your word. Ilmuta ennast meile rohkem ja rohkem oma sõna läbi. We thank you, Lord. Ja isa, me täname sind. We thank you, Lord, for where we can go. Isa, me täname sind selle eest, et kuhu me saame minna. And who we can be. Ja kes me saame olla. And we give you praise and we give you glory. Me anname sulle kiitus ja au. In Jesus' name. Jeesuse nimel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible tells us. Ja tead, mida piibel ütleb nii. That if we would put our faith in Jesus. Et kui meie paneme oma, oma usu Jeesusesse. We would receive him as our Lord and our Savior. Kui meie võtame tema vastu oma isenda ja päästena. We become new. Siis meie saame uueks. New creation. Me saame uueks loodukse. Born again. Sünnime uuesti. G- you know, the, the guy asked Jesus, how can I be born again? I'm already a man and my mom is little. Ja see mees küsis Jeesuse käest, et kuidas saab olla nii, et kuidas ma pean uuesti sündima, et ma olen juba suur kasvu täiskasan mees ja minu ema on väike. How is that even possible et, to be born again? Et kuidas sa on võimalik uuesti sündida. Jesus said it's a new birth in your spirit. Jeesus ütles seda, et see on uuesti sünd sinu vaimuse. Your, your, your inner man becomes new. Et sinu seesmine inimene, see, kes sa oled, see saab uueks. And all we have to do is put our faith in him and ask him to save us. Ja kõike, mida meil on vaja, on see, et panna oma usk tema peale ja paludeta, et Jeesus päästaks meid. Ask him into our life. Ja kutsuda ta enda ellu. And everything changes. Ja kõik saab muudetuda. What I want to do before we go today is I'm just going to lead everybody in a prayer. Ja mida ma tahan teha enne kui ma täna, enne kui me täna siit läheme, on see, et ma soovin juhtida igat ühte palvesse. And I'm going to ask everybody here to pray this prayer just to make it easy for anybody that would really need to be making a decision for Jesus. Ja ma palun seda, et kõik siin olijast, et te ka paluksite seda palvet, et teha see lihtsaks nende inimest Jaoks, kellel on seda vaja paluda. Because my, my heart is, I believe, God's heart. See pärast, et minu südame soov on selline, ma usun, et Jumala südame igatsus on see. As we want everybody to be saved. On see, et me tahame, et iga üks saaks päästetuda. I want everybody in this city to know Jesus Christ. Ma tahan seda, et iga üks siin linnasta tunneks Jeesus Kristus. They don't, need, they don't all need to come to, to our church. No, te, kõik ei pea tulema käima siin kogudus. But I want them all to know Jesus. Aga ma tahan seda, et iga üks tunneks ja et ta kuuluks Jeesusele. And I want us to do our part. Ja ma tahan, et me teeksime enda osa. And part of that is getting you to where you need to be. Ja osa sellest on see, et saada sind sinna paika, kus sina pead olema. So that we can go out and tell others. Et me saaksem minna välja ja rääkida teistele. All the good that he's done for us. Kõik ja seda head, mida ta on teinud meie jaoks. And so let's pray this prayer together. Nii et palume koos selle palve. And let's believe that God is reaching hearts that have not yet received him. Ja usume seda, et Jumal ta sirutub südameteni, kelle nii ta veel ei ole saanud jõuda. He can even reach through this video. Et ta saab ka jõuda inimestene läbi selle video. Touch people in their homes. Puudutada inimesi nende kodudes. The power of God is not limited by walls. Ja Jumala vägi ei ole piiratud seintega. We just need to put our hope and our faith. Me peame panema oma usalduse ja lootuse tema pe- oma usalduse usalduse ja usu tema peale. So let's pray this prayer together and let's believe that God will do supernatural work in people's lives. Nii et palume seda palvet koos ja usume seda, et Jumal teeb üleloomliku tööd inimeste elude. Let's pray. Palvetame. Heavenly Father. Taevane Isa. I come to you in Jesus name. Ma tulen su ette nüüd Jeesuse nimel. Jesus who loves me. Jeesus kes armastab mind who gave himself for me. Kes andis ennast minu eest. And Jesus, I love you. Jeesus, ma armastan sind. And now I give myself to you. Ja ma annan ennast nüüd sinule. And I ask you right now. Ja ma palun sind just nüüd. To come into my heart. Tule minu südamesse. Be my savior. Ole minu päästja. And be my lord. Ole minu issand. And by the blood of Jesus. Ja läbi Jeesuse vere. Cleanse me of all my sin. Puhasta mind kogu mu patuste and fill me ja täida mind with your love sinu armastusega with your peace sinu rahuga with your joy sinu rõõmuga with your holy spirit sinu püha vaimuga and with that assurance ja selle veendumusega that i'm going to heaven et ma olen teel taevasse and i'll be with you forever ja olen koos sinuga igavesti 
And I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Ja ma tänan sind selle eest, Jeesuse nimel. Amen. 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 If you prayed that prayer today, I believe God's doing something awesome in your life. Kui sina täna palusid selle palves, ma usun, et Jumal teeb midagi imelist võimas sinus. Keep seeking him and seeking his presence. Otsi jätkuvalt teda, tema ligiolu. Seeking his word. Otsi tema sõnast. Spend time with him in prayer. Veeda aega temaga palves. Man, get back in church. Ja tule tagasi kogutuse koosolekule. We, we, want, we, want to, we want to see God do great things in your life. Ja me tahame näha seda, kuidas Jumal teeb vägevad asju sinu eluse. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. Well, well, we're going to have a, an awesome week this week. Ja me saab olema imene nädal, see tuleb nädal. Because we're going to leave church today knowing that we're righteous. Kuna me läheme täna siit kogudusest teades seda, et me oleme õigede. Knowing we're holy. Teades seda, et me oleme pühad. Knowing we have authority in life. Teades seda, et meil on meelevalt siin elus. Because of what he's done for us. Selle tõttu, mis ta on teinud meie jaoks. So it means we are going to have an awesome week. Nii et see tähendab seda, et meil saab olema imene nädal. And I invite you to come back tomorrow night and pray with us. Ja ma kutsun siin, tule tagasi homme õhtul ka siia palvetama. We do this two times a month. We meet together on Monday nights. Me teeme seda kaks korda kuus kohtu and we pray for our church. Ja me paletame meie kogudus eest. This is not a time to come and pray about all of your problems. Ja see ole saa, kus kuu tulla ja paluda kõikide oma probleemide eest. If you got problems, we'll pray about that another time. Ja kui sul on probleem, siis teine kord paletame nende asjade eest. But we want to come and we want to pray for our church and pray for God's plan. Me tahame tulla, me tahame paletada meie koguduse asjade pärast ja meie meie plaan, et see plaan, mis Jumalal on, et see teostuks me läbi. God's plan for our church. Et Jumala plaani meie koguduse jaoks. And, and, and I believe that that through the power of prayer is the only reason we are where we're at today. Ja ma usun seda, et läbi palve on saanud tulla see vägi, mis on meid toonud sinna paika, kus me oleme täna. And it's through the power of prayer that we'll be able to go and do whatever it is that God asks us to do in our future. Ja läbi palve väe me oleme võimis, et me tulevikus tegema seda, mida Jumal tahab, et me teeksime. So I invite you to come and be with us on, on tomorrow night and just, just help us. We're going to pray for one hour as Nii, we go to God. Ma palun sind, tule ka siia koos meega paletama, et aidata paluda siin tund aega, kui me paletame kogul see eest. And if you can't join us here, if you're not able to make it, it would be awesome if you would join us wherever you are and just spend some time in prayer. Ja kui sa ei saa tulla siia homme sellel ajal, siis ühide meega palves seal paigas, kus sina oled. And then Wednesday night we're going to come and worship our amazing God ja, together. Just praise and worship him all night. Kolmapäe õhtul tuleme, ülistame imelest Jumalate. And then sing and praise and worship to God is a, is an awesome thing for us to do. Ja Jumalale kiitus, ülistuse laulmine on väga imeline asi, mida meie saame teha. Because he's worthy of that sacrifice. Kuna ta on väärt seda ohvrite. I mean, he's, he's blessing us and he's speaking into our lives all the time. Ta õnnistab meid, ta kõnetab meid meeluse kogu aeg. And this is one opportunity we have to give back to him. Ja see on üks võimalus meile, kus anda talle tagasi. And man, when we do, the presence of God comes in and, and we're refreshed and made ja, new. Kui me seda teeme, siis Jumala vägi tuleb ja Jumal, ta värskendab meid ja uuendab meid. And so I just really encourage you to, to get involved in as many ways as you can. Nii et ma julgustan sind, et ole kaasas asjadega nii palju, kui sa saada. And as the church, we're going to become more and more the way that God wants us to be. Ja me kogudusene saame olema rohkem ja rohkem sellised, nagu Jumal tahab, igatsev, et me oleks. Amen. Amen. Well, worship team, would you come? Ja we're, we're going to sing one more song ette. before we go today. Laulama veel ühe laulu enne, kui täna läheme siit. And let's just give this to the Lord. Ja anname selle isse endale. And go out, have a great week. Ja lähme ja olgu meil hea nädal. Know that I love you. Tea seda, et mina armastan sind. More important Importantly, God loves you. Ja veel enam seda, et Jumal armastab sinde. Jesus is coming soon. Ja Jeesus tuleb varsti tagasi. Let's go live for him. Ja lähme, elame temale. Amen. Amen. Bye, guys.
का है सत्यु नहीं था Tänu Jumalale, et sinalt tema leinud. Nii et olgu sul väga õnnistatud nädal kohtumiseni kogutsu kohvikus.